I think you could do it. That'd be fun. Dum, 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 oh, he's coming <laughs> by. All right, here we go. Smile. <laughs> hey, y'all, this is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we are My Philippine Dreams. Welcome to our third installment of the Wednesday Weekly Wrap-Up where we give our subscribers a little glimpse into our pathetic, sad lives. First up, as uh, you might know, Michelle's scooter was stolen Saturday. Was it Friday night? Friday night. Friday night. We found out about it Saturday morning. Um, filed the police reports, did all that. You guys probably saw the video, um, and we still haven't heard anything. Hopefully it'll be returned. Um, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Um, so we'll keep you updated as things go on that. If you're in the Philippines, check out comprehensive theft insurance on your motorcycles and cars. Cars are only like, I think, 12,000 pesos for the year. Oh. That's theft and comprehension, you know, damage to your car and all that stuff, which is pretty cheap considering I was paying that per month in, Dor in uh, Boston. So that's that on the scooter. Back, my back's out. Um, my back went out, at, we were coming back from a bean, my bean eye and that's been unpleasant and it's not fully healed yet it's not fully back yet at some point what i'm going to do is get one of those exercise balls because that really helps stretch it out and stuff actually every time i go back on it i can feel my lower back pop and i'm going to try to get a heating pad off lazada.com um, because this is just something that happens every now and then it's a real pain in the back um, also i'm down to 190 pounds Yes, Michelle remembers back when I was 260 pounds. Yeah, she was like this. Yeah, <laughs> I was a big boy. I was a power lifter and all that stuff. I was really strong. I've lost a lot of strength in the gym, but I prefer being smaller and lighter in this heat and humidity because I can't imagine being 260 pounds and walking around with like, a, you know, a huge layer of insulative fat. Now I just have a thin layer of insulative fat and some drooping skin. But anyways. Um, the weather, it's been rainy and cool, which is nice. We didn't use air con. And because it's rainy season, we, we got our electricity bill, and it was only 2,000 pesos, which is like $45 for the month, which was good because we didn't use a lot of AC. Budget. We'll be doing the budget video um, probably over the weekend. It looks like we're at a, over $1,200 for this month. Yeah, we, um, we had a lot of medical expenses because um, of all the antibiotics, all the multiple doctor visits. You went to the doctor yourself, mm -hmm. the hospital and all that. Um, so that stuff added up. Because we went to Mabina. We went to Mabina, yeah. We uh, spent a lot of money because we were traveling. And we also did what that we didn't do when we had that month when we spent $840. We went out to eat a lot. Yeah, we went out yeah, and we weren't going out to like Carindarias and cheap places. We were going to like Haya High and Kamalig and Moons and yeah. all those places. So that added up. But that's okay. It's still well under what, you know, we are budgeted. Uh, Michelle also went to the hospital? Yes. And what did you go to the hospital for? Uh, I was, uh, I had a checkup and blood test, uh, CBC test. CBC test is what? <laughs> blood count? Complete yeah. blood count? Complete blood yeah. Blood. So she went to the doctor because of vertigo. Vertigo. Dizziness. I dizziness. I feel dizzy while I'm at work. I feel nauseous. Um, my stomach's hurting. So it's just so crazy. It's just crazy. So I have to go to the doctor to see what's wrong with me. And we did the blood work, and now we got to do a follow-up with the doctor because there was some um, readings that were a little low. So we're going to do... some that are too high. And some that were too high, yeah. So we're going to get that checked out. Um, at some point, we're going down to Zamboguita, Zamboguita yeah. to a place called Cuckoo's Nest. Um, it's going to be cool, hopefully, because we'll, we know where it is and we won't get lost like we did in Mabinai <laughs> multiple times. Um, and it's nice, it's right on the beach down by, what's it, what's that bay, Tom, Tom Lobo? Tambobo. Tambobo Bay. <laughs> so we'll be going down there, we'll do a video on that. Um, and there's no air con, it's just a fan rooms, but they're right on the water, it's really nice. Um, also, this past week we did videos on the scooter getting stolen, so you guys, 
you know, could could experience kind of what that's like, you know, having to report it and filling out the paperwork and um, going through all that process. And also the video that I, sh I shot that video about a month ago, the hospital mm -hmm. video it was a little over a month ago um, when I had the bad staff infection and stuff. It's cleared up. Um, I don't use deodorant anymore, but I don't smell too bad, right? She's just telling me that. <laughs> um, and I'm just, you know, taking precautions and stuff so that it doesn't come back. So knock on wood, hopefully that won't reoccur. Um, upcoming videos, we have, we're probably going to do a video on Haya High, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And we're going to be also going through the footage. There was a lot of footage we shot in Mabini. Yes. Yeah. And I got to go through all that and edit all that stuff through. Um, the thing with my back being out, it's kind of hard to sit at the desk in the office chair and, and work because it gets worse, so we'll, but we will be putting that up at some point. Um, also tonight, we are meeting one of our subscribers for dinner. We're mm -hmm. going to be meeting Rob, um, we're going to be meeting at Haya Hai, and what's, what's really cool is there's a guy named Enchi, mm -hmm. and he is a musician with a band that plays reggae and ska, and he's got this uh, song called Istanbai. Which he really likes. Yeah, I love that song. It's a great tune. And they're playing tonight. He was actually OFW working in Singapore for the last year, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's my friend on Facebook. And they're playing tonight at Haya Hai. So we'll bring you a log for that. Um, we'll see how the, how the GoPro does in low light, loud noise situations. So that's about it. Anything mm -hmm. you want to add? No. Um, if you see a white Rusi with yellow Rusi lettering on it, just send us a private message. We missed that little scooter. It's got sentimental value. Yes. You know, because that was Michelle's first scooter, and you know, every scratch and dent and ding and scuff, you know, has has some value to it, because that was something that you hit along the way, right? Yes. Yeah. So, just PM us. That's about it. We'll see you next time. We're also gonna I'll be putting in some little garden footage so you can see how the garden's coming along. <laughs> Until next time, this is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we are My Philippine Dreams. Take care. Okay. All right, let's take a quick gander at how the garden is looking. As you can see, there's only one motor here. There is no white Rusi. And it's looking pretty good. The cucumbers. Uh, seem to be surviving the onslaught of snails and orange beetles. A couple of them are getting pretty big. Some of them are not doing so well. There's some shade over in this section. That's why those aren't growing as well. We got to cut down this big ass banana tree frond at some point. I got to get Michelle to climb up there like a tar shear. Uh, the green beans are doing good. They're up to the barbed wire now. Uh, the okras are getting big. I don't even know if we're supposed to trellis these or not. No, you don't trellis them? This one, this one got crushed by a falling palm frond, so it's not doing so well. We'll probably replace them with these two guys right here. Uh, this is mostly weeds. There's only one okra plant here. There was a bunch of carrots over in that corner right there, but the uh, mayas, uh, what they call sparrows, ate them, little bastards. And you can see our pineapple is pretty much ready for harvesting. We'll probably snatch that out and let that ripen. And the malungi and everything else seems to be doing well. So, things are looking good. And uh, we'll keep doing updates. This is Ned, over at MyPhilippineDreams.com. Oh, it's down by. Dili mangi tagawai. Oh, it's done by. Kali nawa mangkali pai.